Understanding in a better place, a guide to a common English phrase. Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the frequently used English phrase, in a better place. This phrase can be quite perplexing, especially for English language learners, due to its varied contextual meanings. Stay tuned as we explore the different nuances of this phrase, ensuring you can use it confidently in your conversations. In a better place often carries a literal meaning. It's used to describe a situation or condition that is improved or more favorable compared to a previous one. For instance, if someone moves from a small, cramped apartment to a spacious, comfortable house, you might say they are in a better place now. The phrase also has a figurative or emotional dimension. When people go through tough times and then find peace or resolution, we might say they are in a better place. It's not just about physical location but also about their emotional or mental state. For example, after recovering from a serious illness or overcoming a personal struggle, one might be described as being in a better place. Perhaps the most profound use of the phrase is as a euphemism for death. When someone passes away, especially after a period of suffering or illness, it's common to say they are in a better place to imply that their struggles are over and they are at peace. This use aims to provide comfort by suggesting that the deceased is now free from pain or worldly troubles. Recognizing the context in which, in a better place, is used is crucial. The meaning can vary significantly based on the situation, tone of voice, and other accompanying phrases. Paying attention to these cues will help you understand whether the phrase is referring to a literal improvement, an emotional state, or discussing the delicate topic of death. We hope this video has shed light on the nuanced meanings of the phrase, in a better place. Understanding the context in which it's used is vital for grasping the intended meaning. Remember, language is not just about words but also about the emotions and situations they reflect. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video has been insightful and helpful in your English learning journey.